friends and future friends, it is Shrewboy313 and welcome back to the Pokemon Sapphire Monotype Randomizer. In the last episode we took on the Windstraight family just a little bit, I was about to say just a little bit down south and apparently there's a Pokemon in this rock. Okay. <laughs> I mean I know normally it's a Geodude inside a rock but um, a Shedinja wasn't exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> But yes, we defeated the Windstraight family and I guess, I say I guess, in this episode we're just going to be heading up this route to, I don't actually remember which town is next, I want to say it's Lava Ridge maybe, it's either Lava Ridge or Fall Lab, I don't remember to be honest, but apparently Dr. Ann and Bob are sending out Weezing and Delibird because obviously Gabby and Ty have been changed to that. <laughs> Right, now I don't trust that wheezing, so I'm going to get rid of it first, because it has the potential, well it had the potential, to be very dangerous to my team. Right, and I'm just thinking how bad could a deli bird hurt me? Considering I'm pretty sure the only move that they are capable of learning is present, so hopefully this should finish it off. And it did, nice. Right, cool. Let's just move on, I don't want to give Anne and Bob. <laughs> the doctors. I can't be bothered sticking around to give them an interview because, well, I have places to be. She doesn't know where we're going, but she's still going to stop us for a battle. Hey, look, another Anne, except it's spelled A-N-N-E. <laughs> also, I like the fact that she doesn't know where we're going, but she's just going to stop us what we're doing, stop what we're doing anyway. We could have literally been on the way to hospital for, like, some life-saving thing where if we didn't get there in time we would have died, but she would have probably still battled us and been the cause of someone's death. <laughs> because apparently that's the way to live, if you're a Pokemon trainer at least. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just saying words. But anyway, Mariah's level 28 and in Nose Pass, so I may as well just stick in with Mariah. Now I think it might be worth I'm like switching out the Pokemon that's in front because yikes that is weak <laughs> something tells me I may not have been too far off the mark by just leaving the XP share on Mariah because I don't think she's actually gonna be that useful until she's a slow bro hmm just it's just a thought but at any rate let's just completely switch around my team because JC is currently the lowest level and uh, there are picnickers everywhere, apparently. <laughs> but apparently at least this one's full of pep. That's a thing, Marcellus. With a Typhlosion, okay. <laughs> oh, that is the thing I love about randomizers, because sometimes you can get... Oh, it has Poison Point. That is really unfortunate, but obviously there is no way that I could have known that. But... Let me bring back the saltiness from like a previous Let's Play. Of course, Poison Point would hit me. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't. I'm not. I'm not salty about that because honestly, how could I have known? <laughs> I'm just in too good a mood about it. I can't help it. Oh dear. Well, I say I'm in too good a mood about it. I'm in too good a mood just about this Let's Play. Right, the sandstorm is vicious and it's impossible to keep going, then we will have to go this way. Right, I want to see what Pokemon there are here first, but then I will go go around and battle the other two, those two trainers. A Delcati, a Pokemon. I don't know whether I used it in a Let's Play, but I know I definitely used a Delcati on one of my playthroughs of Pokemon XD. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, a Bulbasaur, so... <laughs> a Bulbasaur with Drizzle. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> uh, plus also, again, nothing I can take. Uh, anything else? Ah, uh, just another... Oh, that Bulbasaur had a different ability. Okay. Hmm. So maybe it's possible that... Wow, there are a lot of Bulbasaur here. Oh, and Paris, okay. So maybe that Gorbis that I caught... Shout out to that Dragonite. Maybe it would be possible for it to have another ability. Oh, mm, yeah, it probably would have been, but 
I suppose in hindsight, it's only a pure water type that the only other type of move it learns are psychic, so... I don't think it would have been... Like, it, I don't think Gorbis would have really had a place on the team considering we do have Mariah. Because, I mean, Gorbis wouldn't have gotten stab from uh, psychic type moves where, obviously, Mariah will do. Mm, I mean, I guess it's trading out a Pokemon that I like for a Pokemon that's inevitably, or I say inevitably, is probably going to be better in the long run. Eh, I mean, the psychic subtype for Mariah, it's just more useful than a singular, uh, I nearly said a singular psychic type, a singular water type. Right, Lady Kami. Honestly, the name Kami just reminds me of Kami from Street Fighter, even though they're spelt differently. I don't know, it's the first thing I thought of, don't question it, please. <laughs> Alright, JC grows to level 27 and a Linoon. So, you know what? Ruby hasn't seen any action in this episode yet, so let's send her out. Alright, Linoon. I know it didn't, it didn't seem to work all of that well last time, but you know what? It's our most powerful ice time move, so let's give Aurora Beam a go. And it did really well. Wow. Right. And just because of reasons, body slam. <laughs> right, so I'm actually quite glad that we haven't run into any trainers that are too powerful, per se. They've all been manageable. Oh, right, yeah, we have to go up this way. Oh, where does this... Right, I think this path brings you out up at, like, God Daniel, okay. Yeah, I think the path that we need to take, it brings us out at the top of, um, what is it, at the top of the, oh gosh, why is my brain forgotten words? I'll tell you why, it's because I'm very tired this morning. <laughs> right, the path that we're going to take brings us out on the top of the mountain, there. I got it. Right. So he sends out a swine up with drought and then a dragon air with drizzle. Alright. <laughs> you know, to make it sound more poetic, I would have preferred if it was a swine up with sandstorm and then the dragon air with drizzle. You know, just for the onomatopoeia. Right, and then a diglet. Okay, good. The diglet doesn't have a weather effect. I was worried that this Diglett was going to have Sandstream or... Or what is it? I Snow Warning. Mm, snow Warning didn't exist yet, I don't think, did it? They just, like, forced hail to appear when you entered battle? Eh, uh, I don't know. But, uh, just another thought I had. It, since we're doing a water monotype... It may be worth investing or hoping that one of our Pokemon is going to learn Rain Dance, and if it does, it will be very worth investing in that. So, I mean, since every Pokemon we have on our team is Water type, and I assume that they're all going to have at least one Water type move by the end of this, like by the end of this adventure, just for obviously stab reasons. Just having that, even just that one move, be stab and buffed by. Like the rain, rain dance, drizzle, whatever. It could be ve a very worthwhile investment. Also, I just completely didn't acknowledge. Um, I just completely didn't acknowledge the what is it? The Raichu. Oh, do we need a? Do we maybe need another badge for strength? Mm, that makes sense. We've got. So I mean, we've got four HMs, and we can use Rock Smash, Cut, and Fly. Flash, not Fly. So I guess that means we'll need the next badge for strength. Alright, uh, Wigglytuff, no thank you. I, I keep saying no thank you, but... Ooh, a Lotad. You know what? No. Oh wait, no, what? Mm, no, it's not an impossible evolution, so it wouldn't have been changed. I was just thinking because obviously you need a Water Stone to evolve... Uh, what is it? To evolve Lotad all the way? And Octillery, again, it's suffering the monotype, the singular water type, and also not being that great. As cruel as that sounds. But yeah, with Lotad, you'd need a water stone to evolve it. And since I randomised, like, the items on the ground, 
there would be no guarantee that I'd actually find a water stone, and I don't actually think you can buy them in this game either. Mm. Now, the shards in this game, I believe you can trade them for evol evolutionary stones, but again, it's the same. It's like the same thing. I can't be sure that I'm gonna get enough shards to be able to get a water stone, so. I think just for the risk of potentially not getting a Lota to its final evolutionary stage, I don't think it'd be worth it. Also, I think I, I say I think, I got the uh, place of where we're headed next wrong. Um, it's not actually up the mountain, it's through somewhere else that I don't want to spoil if you don't know where it is. But I mean, oh, Mistrievous, how sweet. I mean, this game has been out for what, 13 years, I think? So, um, yeah, everyone would have had plenty chance to play it, so I wouldn't exactly be spoiling much, but obviously there is the off chance that someone won't have played it, so I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it for if anyone watching this hasn't played it. Right, also Rude, Super Potion, Nurse Anne. Right, Zatu, um, now I'm sticking with JC because Zatu is psychic as well. I'll say it's psychic, it is psychic. Right, and since JC does have the... Well, she does have the dark... You know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the Zatu got KO'd. So, again, it doesn't matter. Um, mm, what other moves does she have? No, it's not worth it, to be honest. Because, I mean, while she does have good physical attack... She doesn't really learn any physical attack, so again, I don't think it's particularly worth it. Also, Lady Burr, which I thought was a Ledian because I didn't read properly. <laughs> oh dear. That is one thing that may happen like quite often in this game. I won't understand things just because I don't read it properly. Now, this is the guy who would normally give a secret power, which would be able to get into a secret base. Yeah, TM43 is traditionally secret power in this game, but um, obviously since it's all randomised, I don't know whether it will be secret power or not. Oh wait, no, I just realised. I just said JC doesn't know any physical moves. She knows rage, which is normal, which is physical in this generation. Oops. And 43 is, yeah, it's swagger, so um, not worth it in any capacity. <laughs> right, let's just cut that, cut that down, cut that down and head in here because this is the woman who heals up your Pokemon but, spoiler alert, she's the one who doesn't actually want you to leave when she, when she does heal your Pokemon. So let's just say no and leave. Yeah, basically you can get caught in an infinite loop with that woman of where she'll just say, Oh, you still look tired, you should rest. Oh, you still look tired, you should rest. She will just continually say that forever until you say no and just leave. <laughs> right, and then let's do that. Hello, madame, let's battle you. Oh, your Pokemon look like serious actors. Okay, Noelle, apparently they look like actors. Rude. Oh, dear. And you know what I'm actually thinking about doing? I think I might actually teach Earthquake to Ruby, just because I believe, I believe that, um, what is it that, oh my gosh, Walrein, that's the word, <laughs> Walrein can normally learn Earthquake, I believe. I'm sure I've played Pokemon Battle Revolution and I've seen a Walrein use Earthquake, or like one of the 3D Pokemon games that Walrein are in. Like one of the GameCube slash Wii ones. Yeah, and I'm sure that they can learn Earthquake. So I'm thinking I might do it just because she can normally. And it wouldn't technically be cheating. I mean, yes, normally you wouldn't get Earthquake this early on. But uh, I'm just thinking for type coverage it might be worth it. Because I mean, against steel types all I've got is well nothing and against poison types all I've got is oh what is it wow against poison types all I've got is confusion so you know what? I'm gonna teach earthquake to Ruby just because I know that Walrein can learn them normally so like I said it's not technically cheating 
Um, I will get rid of Ice Ball because considering I've got Aurora Beam, it's a more stable move. There we go, Ruby has learned Earthquake, and I think I'm actually just going to give the EXP share to Mariah again for a bit. Right, and there we go, and then let's run off into the next route. Route 113, covered in ash. Right, first there's a loud word, okay. Oh yeah, there are plenty, I say plenty, there are a bunch of trainers around here as well. Like, oh, Clefable. Like this kid here. <laughs> <laughs> not even hiding it. Well, not even hiding it well, should I say. Performer Max. Yeah, I could believe that. Right. Maybe in this battle, Ruby will actually get to try out Earthquake as well. Right. Okay, super effective against Parasector. That's one down, three to go. Oh, gosh, I just realised he had four Pokemon, didn't he? Uh, Blaziken. Yeah, let's just switch in and use Earthquake. Or stay in and use Earthquake. Arcanine. You know what, let's just go with Earthquake again. <laughs> right. Oh, Ruby grows to level 29. And last up is Weedle, which I believe Mariah can take out on her own. Ta-da. But yeah, he had four Pokemon. I didn't want to like just sit around and like make you wait there. Just watching them all at normal speed. Right, Paralyze Heal and a Super Repel. I'm not going to use the Repel just yet because we've only seen like one of the Pokemon or two of them. Right, can you guess why it's so cool around here? Is it all of the ash or does the ash make it hot? And stuffy, I don't know. And Mariah's trying to learn Disable. Sure, why not? Let's get rid of Tackle for it. And Dragonite Air, let's just stay in, shall we? Because ta-da! Entrepreneur Veronica is down. Right, okay, there aren't any items there. Just a... Are there seriously only Loudwood and Clefable in this grass? I don't know why I'm just running through that one patch, but... I did, pff, apparently I was. Oh, Loudwood have Trace. And I also have literally forgotten what Shield Dust does for JC, so... Is it like it blocks second? Oh, it blocks secondary effects. That is actually really good. So, like, I guess a move like Air Slash. If ooh, a Totodile. I just realised that's a Water type, but it is a starter Pokemon which I don't really want to use. And again, it is only pure Water type. So, shout out to Raikou. <laughs> Yeah, it is pure water type, and hey, that little girl had the same name as my girl. Except now they're Ali and Cam. <laughs> right, what was I saying? Um, yeah, Totodile, I'm not going to use it just because, obviously, pure water type and it's a starter type. Or starter Pokemon, not starter type Pokemon. And I'm just not really that big on using the starters unless it's like a ROM hack. Right. You know what, we're nearly at the end of this route, I'm bored of it. <laughs> so let's just quickly zoom through it all, shall we? Now, also, if we head into here, this area is covered in volcanic ash, huff puff. I'm specifically gifted. <sighs> I make glass out of volcanic ash, uh, yeah, and he just gives you a sack, which you can collect ash in and get various items once you walk through as many or certain amount of piles. Piles? No. Yeah, piles of ash. You can get like various glass furniture, you can get the glass flutes, and apparently we can get TM18 here. What is TM18? I'm hoping it's something good. Oh, it is Razor Leaf. Alright. <laughs> and I just realised we had a PP Max, which I will use right now on Earthquake. Because Earthquake is going to be one of those moves that I'm definitely keeping until the very end, because... Well, I mean, why wouldn't I? It's just a case of, I don't know why I wouldn't. Right. But, we have reached Fall Arbor Town, so I think that is going to be it for this episode. So, as we heal our Pokemon, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the rest of my videos, and I will see you guys next time for another episode of the Pokemon Monotype Randomizer. See you then.